In this video, we will go through the compulsory algebra questions from one CXC CSEC paper 2 examination. So to be clear, the questions are 2A part 1 and part 2, 2B part 1 and part 2, 2C, 2D part 1 and part 2, and then 2E with a part 1 and a part 2. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and attempt each part. If you are stuck on any, check the description below for the link to the video that covered that topic. Check out my playlist for comprehensive coverage of the topic algebra. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. Last chance to pause the video. Okay, let's go. 2a. a subtract b plus c. a is equal to 4. Subtract b. b is equal to 2. And c is equal to minus 1. Added to negative 1. 4 subtract 2 is equal to 2. 2 subtract 1 is equal to 1. 2a part 2. What is 2 multiplied by a to the bth power? 2 multiplied by a is 4. And b is 2. 2 multiplied by 4 squared. 4 squared is equal to 16. So 2 multiplied by 16. 2 multiplied by 16 is equal to 32. 2B. A bottle contains 500 ml of orange juice. Write an expression for each of the following. The amount of juice left in the bottle after pouring out PML. The bottle started with 500 ml. We poured out PML. So we have in the bottle 500 minus PML. So the expression is 500 minus PML. Part 2. After pouring out Q glasses, each containing R. So if you have Q glasses, each containing R ml, then the total amount we pour out would be Q multiplied by R ml. We had 500 initially, so this amount is taken away from 500. So we have 500 ml subtract Q multiplied by R ML simplifying to 500 minus QR ML part C the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15 so you're going to express both fractions over the LCM To get the first fraction over 15, we multiply the denominator by 5. So we need to multiply the numerator by 5 as well. 2k by 5 is equal to 10k. We add it to the second fraction over 15. 5 by 3 is equal to 15, so we multiply 3 by 2 minus k. We have both fractions over the same denominator, so we can simply add the numerators together. Expanding brackets. Positive 3 multiplied by 2 is positive 6. Positive 3 multiplied by negative k is negative 3k. Ten 10k subtract 3k is equal to 7k plus 6 over 15. Part D. Four mangoes and two pears cost $24 while two mangoes and three pears cost $16. Part 1. Write a pair of simultaneous equations in X and Y to represent the information given above. Four mangoes, let's say 4X, and two pairs to Y is equal to 24. And two mangoes, 2X plus 3Y is equal to 16. See it clearly what x and y represent. So 4 by x plus 2 by y gives $24. 4x 
So this simultaneous equation is in terms of dollars, twenty-four dollars. So four multiplied by x. What could x be to get the left hand side in terms of dollars? X represents the cost of one mango in dollars. And Y represent the cost of one pair in dollars. And question E, part one, factorize completely. A cubed minus 12A, factorizing by HCF. The HCF is A. A multiplied by A squared gives A cubed. And A multiplied by negative 12 gives negative 12 A. And the final question in this paper, part 2, factorize completely 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. When factorizing a quadratic, we need to find two numbers that multiply to give 2 by positive 3, which is equal to positive 6, and add to give negative 5. So the factors of positive 6 are... Remember, positive multiplied by positive is a positive, or a negative by a negative gives a positive. We have positive 1, positive 6, negative 1, negative 6, positive 2, positive 3, negative 2, negative 3. The first two factors add up to give positive 7, negative 7, positive 5, negative 5. So we are going to replace negative 5x with negative 2x minus 3x. 2x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 3. Note here that negative 2x subtract 3x is exactly the same as negative 5x. Factorizing by grouping first two terms by HCF. The HCF is 2x. 2x multiplied by x will give us 2x squared, and 2x multiplied by negative 1 will give negative 2x. Keeping the same term in bracket, negative 3 multiplied by x gives negative 3x, and we confirm that negative 3 multiplied by negative 1 is positive 3. It is. Factorizing these two terms by HCF, the common term is x minus 1, and we multiply x minus 1 by 2x to get the first term, and we multiply by minus 3 to get the second term. The factorization is complete. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.